Now, the candidates of political parties in Edo State governorship election have all agreed to a peace deal ahead of Saturday's poll in the state. This symbolic exercise of signing a peace accord may go a long way to impact the outcome of the process. The Chairman National Peace Committee and former head of state, Abdul Salam Abubakar, member of the committee and Catholic Bishop, Catholic Diocese of Sokoto, Matthew Kuka, among others, were in attendance. The chairman of INEC, Mahmoud Yakubu, also assured citizens that the election will be free and fair. Our preparations for deployment of personnel and materials, new innovations in result management, the safety of personnel, security of materials, and above all, the credibility of the elections are all negatively impacted by violence and malpractices. I wish to assure you of INEC's commitment to credible elections. The votes will count. The people of Edo State will determine who becomes their next governor. To use this election process in Edo as a test for future elections. As reiterated by His Excellency President Mohamed Bufari, let every Nigerian be respected and be given an opportunity to cast his or her vote without intimidation or coercion. And once that vote is casted, let us uphold that vote. And we have been ensured by the next chairman that your vote will count. I just want the contestants to go with two key words. When you are signing an accord, you must understand what you are doing. The spirit behind it, there are two words, accountability and responsibility. You must know that you will be held responsible and you must be accountable. So it means that you have to go back and speak to all of them that are behind you to understand the spirit and the letters of the accord you are signing today.